It looks nothing like that in real life. Quick warm-up shot. White tissue paper, about 20 meters. Not bad. G'day, welcome back. Um, today we got a quick one. Hopefully the video will be short and snappy. Um, I, short story, um, I basically lost out most of the bookings for the Rath Raw this year in New South Wales. So I got this place, public land, I used to go hunting in Victoria, just over the border. And uh, I haven't been there since the big fires in 2019. So uh, I decided I had time, why not duck down for 24 hours? And partly it's to scout, I'm meant to go for a hunt next weekend uh, with a mate of mine. And this was one of the options, but I thought it would, rather than both of us driving down, I might as well drive down and check. So it's a uh, hit and miss. It's really, really dense what I've seen so far, but I'm gonna go around and check my old spots, do some tracking, see if I can find them. Um, and if not, at least I got a nice road trip and 24 hours in the bush. All this land I'm walking past here used to be able to walk through, um, like an open gum tree here with some shrubs and stuff underneath. But more or less now, it's impenetrable. So. I've been walking for like an hour and a half and I haven't seen any any tracks at all really. This is the first thing I've seen which is a rub tree but it's old probably last year and my guess would be somebody and not a fellow there. I haven't seen a single sign that there's fellow there around. I found my first track and um, that's the same body for sure. The um, size of the hoof is too big for a fellow, I think. Sometimes um, you have to take a gamble. And this weekend was one of those. Um, just got to the area I thought might be clear. And like the whole forest is impenetrable. Like. Um, I might be able to bush back through it, but I'm going to make a racket of a noise. I hardly seen any signs. Might be good in 10 years, but... For the moment, I think I drove Sydney to Victoria. For nothing. The last time I was here, I shot a deer. Just from this spot. And I rattled them in during the rut. And I would have had... 100 meter visibility between the trees. Not today. So I don't know what to do to be honest because everything around here burnt and it's late. And I gotta go home tomorrow anyway, so. Um, I guess just really look, walk around. If I'm lucky, I'll come across one that sleeps. <laughs> I don't know. I thought I'd record a little bit, just to see what kind of bush bashing we're doing. I literally only go on topography now, trying to walk downhill. But she's thick, all right. Okay, so I found a bit of a soak in a bit of a glaring but um, I'm at least two hours away from camp and I don't want to hunt it and walk back in the dark like you see behind me it's it's an absolute bush bash and doing that with a steep angle at night in the dark when I don't know it's just just not worth the risk so I'm just gonna keep going down follow this little soak and hopefully I can get all the way down to the farmland, uh, which is private. And then just sneak along the farmland to a big circle, come back to my car, because likelihood of me getting a deer in these conditions, close to zero. So, but I'll try. I just spoke to Samba. Big guy.
thing is, there's a bunch of tree ferns everywhere that survived the fires. But this is just a shaly steep hill. So it's gonna take some time to get over quite. It's a beautiful country. Let's get it closer to the farmland below. But something still tells me I'm gonna walk home back to camp in the dark. Just had um, a snack, muesli bar, some nuts. Um, I've seen one there, that was good, spooked it. It's more or less impossible to get close to anything in these conditions, but I'm hoping as I'm getting closer to the farm lad, it opens up a little bit. Um, <clears throat> not so sure though, so I'm gonna keep moving because I probably only got an hour and a half light left. And um, not super keen on walking back through this kind of bush in the dark. It's a bit dangerous with it's a lot of slips, a lot of rocks. You know, everything is about a 45 degree angle. Better be safe than sorry. It's it's old. But this is fellow scat. Finally it looks like uh, these here are fellow rub trees. But no fellow rub. Sambus stack in front of us. Good morning. Decided to get up early this morning. It's um, probably about 5 a.m., a little bit before maybe. Just made a coffee. Just staying in bed a little bit to keep warm. It's so um, it's cold out there this morning. All right, so Sunday morning, didn't see any fella yesterday. But to make it worthwhile, I'm gonna get up early and go back to the good spots this morning. See if I can see another deer. I actually don't care if it's a fellow or a sand at this point, but I would like to see some, some fellow. Anyway, I have to walk down into the dark soon. I'm getting really close to mounting spots. I'm gonna slow down a little bit. As you can see, it's really dark still. The sun is just going up. It's actually quite perfect. The only thing is that because it's this early, the thermal winds are going straight down the hill. So at some stage, I have to veer off and cut off the side of diagonal against the wind. Fingers crossed, I'll see some deer this morning. So I spent a couple of hours trying to get see some fellow stalked perfect perf perfect area perfect weather up early nothing so either 2019 fires perished most of the deer or there's some samba here not not like not a lot but I've seen a few and I thought I heard one today but once again it's too dense to do anything about it Let's see, got a couple of hours ahead of me trying to get, get back to the car. Check this out. This is probably the most impressive grass fern, tree fern I've seen. It's an easy three meters tall. It's been around for a while. It's a decent landslide. Seems like it was a while ago and ground feels firm. So I'm going to use this to get down to the bottom a bit quicker. But, power of water. Alright, sun is up. I've seen a lot of tracks, but no deer. I actually have a sneaky suspicion that there's not that many fellow around. Um, Seems that most of the tracks and scatter see Samba. And it's so dense up the woods that there's no chance you're gonna get in there. They're gonna hear you like 100 meters away, 200 meters away. They're just gonna sneak away. So um, I think this spot 
which we used to go. Uh, have gone for the last few years. It's gone. Um, probably not going to be worth going back to at least for another five years or so. I reckon maybe ten. Once the smaller undergrowth start to die down, it might take even longer. It might uh, might might be gone. So anyway, time to look for some new spots. Uh, I am going to stalk back to the car, but I think it's eight thirty, nine o'clock. Likelihood of catching a deer out walking in the open in the middle of the day is um, slim to none. So anyway, the, I knew it was a risk, but I didn't think it would end this way. With um, basically not be able to to hunt at all. I was just, I probably walked for about 10 hours all up, trying to look for a spot, but hasn't been anything. You can see, that's a wallow for obviously a somebody. Um, but looking how disturbed it hasn't been used this morning, so it doesn't have any running water through it, and the, the muddiness has sort of settled into pools. Um, it has rained. So, in the last couple of days, it's been a sandbar there anyway. Alright, almost up at the car. Last bit. Uh, sort of successful, sort of not. Um, so, I heard deer today, and just in the end, I saw two fallow deer as well. So, uh, found a few few good spots. You should, uh, I have a sneaky suspicion that the rut is actually not on yet. Because there is deer here, and at least at night you should have heard a few croaks, but nothing. And there's no, I've done a lot of walking, and there's, there's a couple of small rotting pads, but very, very small. So maybe it needs another week or two.